Hi, my name is Amy Stirk, and I'm a co-director at the Michigan Assistive Technology Program. My whole family is neurodivergent, which means we see and experience the world in different ways. Um, and my children especially appreciate uh, supports from sensory swings. So I'm going to show you uh, two options for sensory swings uh, that you might want to use. Uh, one of them, the hammock chair, we have available from our library to borrow and see if it works for you or someone you care about. The first swing I'm gonna show you is called a hammock swing and it's actually available uh, from Walmart and it's really um, originally designed as a camping um, device. Um, and both my kids really uh, appreciate the hammock swing and we have it upstairs um, in our living room and they eat in it, um, they play games in it, they sit and swing in it um, whenever they want. And it's super handy because it folds up and is um, kind of lightweight, uh, but it holds up to 250 count capacity. But it also um, doesn't need to be attached to the ceiling, whereas traditional sensory swings need to be attached to the ceiling. The hammock swing is a really good alternative and it's affordable at the $40 range. So we do have a sensory swing that's attached to a joist in the basement. Sensory swings help people who are neurodivergent and others um, to support integration, sensory integration. The different movements in the body can help with calming. Although one of my kids thinks swinging also revs her up, uh, but it can help with calming and sensory integration, especially for people with sensory processing disorders. If you'd like to try the hammock chair, or if someone you would know would like to, or borrow it for a short period of time and use it in your home, see if it works for you or someone you know, please contact us at the Michigan Assistive Technology Program.